Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain in Paradise, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are up in lovely Noosa. And uh, we're having a good time, but we're going to file a couple of reports because of our loyal audience, uh, you know, at the report from Tiger Mountain and on Cafe Lockdown and all the other networks that get shared in. So uh, um, stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to talk about uh, the War of the Shekels, uh, which is um, the uh, very famous uh, event that's going on at the moment, which is the writer's strike, the writer's uh, and actor's strike that's hit Hollywood. Um, you know, so uh, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Well, you know, I think um, to the average punter, this looks like uh, a group of greedy um, Hollywood producers uh, are being, um, you know, a strike is on at the moment, protesting their actions by a group of greedy actors and greedy writers. It seems to be uh, what I call the war of the shekels, like the war of the shekels. Because basically the actors and, and um, the, the writers, they want more of the shekels that the greedy producers have got. And the greedy producers don't want to give it to them. They want to keep them because they love their shekels. Like, you know, they love them. I love them. I can't get enough. And, uh, you know, they, they, they've probably all got billions, billions and billions of shekels, but still, they need more. It's, it's like a real problem for, for these guys in Hollywood. Like, I don't know how many shekels they really need. I mean, do, do you really need a billion shekels? I don't know. But they seem to need more and more. So there's a kind of big dispute going on at the moment between, uh, you know, the writers and actors and, um, you know, these greedy producers, probably represented by someone like that. Bob Iger, who's the head of Disney, uh, and, you know, Netflix and other people involved in these kind of uh, organisations, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, I mean, it, to me, it, it does seem like a group of, you know, ultra-privileged people are fighting with a group of privileged people. So I think to the average person, they don't really give a fuck, ladies and gentlemen, to be perfectly honest. But I still think, I, I think, you know, as somebody has said, you know, not everybody is Tom Cruise, not every actor uh, who might be fighting this. Some actors might not work that often. So, you know, giving them a better wage is probably worth doing. And who the hell wants to side with the ultra-greedy um, Shekelmeisters like Bob uh, you know, Iger and the people who run Netflix, you know, the major you know, producers who, who own that, the CEO and all that stuff. So, you know, I guess our sympathies aren't going to lie with the actual, um, you know, the actors and the, uh, the writers. And obviously another issue that's come out here is kind of um, AI, you know, I mean, Hollywood has been in remarkably cliche and, um, you know, formulaic and all that kind of stuff of late. Uh, they've been get, delivering a lot of nonsense, um, you know, outside of Barbenheimer, which we're going to cover in a, another report from Tiger Mountain in a minute. Um, but, like, um, you know, it's like there's a worry that AI scripts are going to take over and also the kind of residuals that actors and writers will get, you know, when the, their ideas are recycled and also when an actor's um, visage, their face, can be used digitally, um, you know, and I think many actors have sold their, their visage through past movies. Um, and so, you know, these, these production companies can use their, um, their face in future digital production. So they, you know, like, you know, that TV series Black Mirror covered that recently in um, an episode called Joan is Awful, where um, Selma Hayek's uh, face is used um, in this kind of virtual show. So, you know, it's a lot of interesting issues being raised by the, the War of the Shekels that's going on. I mean, obviously, this goes to show the vast, incredible greed of the people who run Hollywood. We all know, that. We all know who that is, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, and uh, look, I, I hope it comes to an end. Um, you know, I think to the average person, it does seem to be a kind of fight between two ultra-privileged groups of people. But I guess, you know, some of our sympathies um, should lie with the actors and writers, not all of them who are as wealthy as Tom Cruise. For example, they had Machete, um, you know, Danny Trejo, who played uh, Machete, for example, he came out and spoke in favour of the, the strike and, you know, he's got a taco, uh, he sells tacos and everything, he's been handing out free tacos to people on the picket line. So, you know, maybe we're going to have to, uh, you know, join the union here, ladies and gentlemen, and support the uh, writers and the, um, you know, uh, um, and the actors, because not all of them are filthy rich and some of them just want to be paid a decent wage. And it's just these gr greedy Shekelmeisters, ladies and gentlemen, that are um, just carrying on. So um, that's where we're at, and that's the report from Tiger Mountain. On this, from the report from Tiger Mountain in Paradise. Thank you, Susan.